Hello everyone, it's Dr. Gupta at Moksha Derm, and today I'm going to talk to you about basal cell skin carcinoma. So this is the most common type of skin cancer and actually cancer overall that is diagnosed in the United States and worldwide. In the United States, we expect 2 million new basal cell carcinomas to be found every year. So um, it is important to be aware of it, and uh, luckily it is a fairly easy skin cancer to take care of, especially when found early on. So basal cell skin carcinomas usually originate due to sun exposure, and they're most commonly found in sun-exposed areas of your body, so the face and um, it could be the scalp. We can find them on the eyelid margins, your lips, nose, ears. It's really important to have all of these areas thoroughly checked. They can also occur in other parts of your body, so just a full skin examination is recommended. Um, they usually occur due to that UV exposure, but can also occur from immunosuppression or from certain genetic conditions that can predispose one to getting the basal cell carcinomas. So um, these can look a variety of different ways. So sometimes they're just a fleshy skin colored papule. They might be kind of pinkish. They might have a depression in the center and look kind of donut shaped. Sometimes they have little blood vessels that grow on the surface known as telangiectasia. Um, and then sometimes they can look like a little area of scar tissue or they may look pigmented like a little um, freckle or an, a, a mole, or they might even look just like a little red rash, like a, a, even like an eczema type of patch, um, but much smaller. So they're usually non-healing. They may easily bleed, but just not completely go away. So anything that looks suspicious, that's new on your skin, definitely have it checked. Um, and so once these occur, they usually just grow locally and they'll start invading into the nerves and your uh, tissue. They'll just start chewing away at the tissue. Usually they're locally growing. They can go as deep as bone and just keep growing deeper and deeper. Um, they do occasionally metastasize. In other words, they can spread to lymph nodes or they can spread to other organs in your body. But luckily that occurs more rarely with basal cell skin cancers, but it's still important to get rid of these as early as you can find them uh, to, pre to preserve tissue and to get the best cosmetic outcome for your skin. The ways that we take care of the basal cells are either by local destruction. Sometimes we can just cauterize them and curatage them off the skin and then allow the skin to heal. Uh, they can require surgery sometimes, maybe an excision um, or Mohs surgery. And uh, with Mohs surgery, it's the best way to preserve tissue, especially if it's growing in a area where we don't want to remove an excess amount of skin to preserve margin. So like for example, in the nose or the eyelids or any of those delicate areas on the face, we might recommend Mohs if it's a specific type of basal cell that requires it. And then uh, there are also certain creams that we can put on the basal cell that help your own immune system actually fight off the basal cell. So these are different ways that we treat basal cells. Um, I do recommend a yearly skin examination so that you are sure to stay safe and healthy from a skin cancer perspective. And then if you've had a skin cancer in the past, you should have an exam every six months because it does put you at a higher risk of developing a new skin cancer. So um, that's it. Hopefully that was helpful. We do have some good ways to help you keep your skin healthy, um, but the skin exams are super important. So make sure you do that. Um, again, this is Dr. Gupta from Moksha Derm. Let us know if we can help you with any of your skin concerns and help answer any of your questions. Thank you so much.